It's time to learn one of the most remarkable theorems in math. It relates differential calculus, which deals with tangent lines, and integral calculus, which deals with areas. These seem like completely unrelated ideas, but they're actually very closely connected. Let's start with f, a continuous function on the interval a, b, and let's define a new function, capital F of x, to be the integral from a to x of f of t dt. This is the area under f between a and x. A question arises, is capital F differentiable? Let's look at the difference quotient first and see what we can do with that. It's the difference of these two integrals, the integral from a to c plus h and the integral from a to c, both of f of t dt, all over h. We can simplify the numerator to the single integral from c to c plus h, which represents this area under little f. Let's now approximate this area in two ways with a single rectangle. First, the lower sum with one rectangle comes from this, where the height of the rectangle is the minimum value that f attains in the given interval. Likewise, this is the upper sum, and the height of this rectangle is the maximum value. So the gray area is somewhere between the areas of these two rectangles. The question now is what happens to the minimum and maximum values as h approaches zero. Remember that we're assuming that little f is continuous, so in particular, it's continuous at c. This means that for every epsilon greater than zero, there's a delta greater than zero, such that the absolute value of f of x minus f of c is less than epsilon, whenever the absolute value of x minus c is strictly between zero and delta. This means that as h approaches zero, both the minimum and maximum values of f on that shrinking interval approach f of c. Taking our previous inequality, dividing everything by h, and then taking the limit as h goes to zero gives us this. By the squeeze theorem, the limit of the middle term is f of c. And the middle term is the definition of capital F prime of C. This gives us our theorem. Let F be a continuous function on the interval a, b. Then capital F of x, defined as the integral from a to x of f of t dt, is differentiable on a, b, and the derivative is little f of x. In words, the instantaneous rate of change at c of the area under the graph of f is f of c. In other words, integrating a continuous function and then differentiating the result yields the original function. Let's end with two questions. First, what happens if we differentiate and then integrate? Second, what happens if we don't assume that little f is continuous on a, b?